Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. For those of you who aren't familiar with me, I'm a retired financial advisor. I've been in this game for roughly 50 years now. And I've come to realize that the stock market we're dealing with today was really given birth by Bill Gates and Steve Jobs back in the late 80s as they introduced us to the world of computers. And then it evolved into uh, what we have today, a social media system, a, a e-commerce system. Everything is run on Bill and Steve's invention of computers and operating systems. And now we are moving beyond the digital revolution of the late 80s and into the next element of it, and that's the artificial tele intelligence world. And we, we still, though, focus on the Dow Jones and the S&P 500, when in reality, my studies show me that there's basically 13 companies that have driven this whole movement through the digital revolution and then are going to take it into the next element. And that's where I've decided I'm going to restructure my portfolio so that I get about 90% of my portfolio into these 13 stocks who have proven to me me that they are going to take us into the next 20 years. Now, there may be some changes as we go, but as we start this artificial intelligence movement, there are 13 stocks that have, have the power to move us forward at a rapid pace. And so what I did was I created a spreadsheet. Those of you who, who know me know I love my Excel spreadsheets. And it's, it's a very pretty Excel spreadsheet. And what I've done is traced the performance of these 13 companies since 1999. Now, some of them that didn't exist until more recently, but then I, I realized that they are giving me the kind of returns that none of the other industry, indices are. And so I want to explain that to you in this video, but I want to preface it by saying it's not financial advice. It's me sharing my knowledge with you. And then I hope that we can come to an agreement as to how we can move forward and work work together to take advantage of what I've discovered. This is not financial advice. Listen to this. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, as I said in my um, thumbnail that uh, my, I'm calling my indices, I'm going to call it the B-O-U-S, short we might call it BUS, uh, for best of us uh, investors. And my portfolio, my best of us investors, over the last 10 years has had a return of 29.15%. And that's compared to the Dow at 5.7%. Uh, the S&P at 16.58. Year to date, no, uh, my best of us is up 68.6%. Why is that? Because we have, we have recognized the next step, that artificial intelligence is going to take it. Now, if you're in the Dow, you're down 1.3. If you're in S&P 500, you're up 10.3. Now, why is that? Well, that's because my uh, my thirteen my thirteen stocks are in that Dow uh, are in that S and P five hundred, and that's what's bringing the S and P five hundred up above what the Dow is. To give you more indication, uh, my twenty year average on these thirteen stocks is twenty point two four percent, where the Dow is more like five percent, and the S and P five hundred is nine point five. So double the S&P 500. On a 10-year basis, okay, bring it in even closer, the BOS is up 29.5, where the Dow is up 5.7, and the NASDAQ is up 16.58. Uh, so I think you can see that 
if you if you're going to be in this game in the future, you can't play the game like it was played back in the 30s and the 40s and the 50s and just rely on the industrial revolution because that is exactly what the Dow is. It's 30 stocks in the Dow Jones Industrials. Okay? We're beyond the industrials. We're in the digitals, okay? So what I want to do is share this with you with not only the, the chart I got, I've got, but the research I've done on each of these 13 stocks. So you can look at it and study it and, and say, is, is he right or is he wrong? Um, and, and, and then I would hope you would communicate with me to say, Carrie, I see this and maybe this is something you should in, add to your 13 stocks. I want to make this a joint effort. I don't want to do it on my own. I've done the initial legwork. Now what I've got to decide is how we're going to share it. I don't want to share it with everybody. I, I plain and simple don't because then, then we've got the big system working against us. Uh, if, if Morgan Stanley picks it up, I now no longer have an advantage over Morgan Stanley. I have 170,000, 177,000 subscribers. I'm going to make it available to a percentage of them. I've got to decide what that percentage is. I am going to know by June the 1st in a, in a couple of days. I'm going to discuss it with my team, and we're going to come up with how I'm going to make this available to you. Initially, it'll probably come through the Discord. Beyond that, we're building the website, which will be up in mid to late July, and then it will be there. What I will do is put my attention towards these stocks, because I'm going to put 90% of my portfolio into these 13 stocks. I'll commit that to you now. That's how much I believe in it. And as I said, I've studied it. I know the ups and downs. I know their averages on an annual basis. I know everything about each and every one of these stocks. And that's, and, and again, this makes sense. If, if I'm going to be a neurosurgeon, I don't want to be looking at your feet. If I'm going to if I'm going to focus on these on the digital revolution part two, which is driven by AI, artificial intelligence, that's all I want to study. That's all I want to read about, so that I become the expert. I cannot compete as a general practitioner with a neurosurgeon. If you get my drift, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I will tell you more about this as we approach June the 1st, which is just several days away, and how you can get access to the best of us 13. That's my commitment to you. Uh, I'm going to become a specialist, and I'm going to help you make millions. I mean, let's, let's face it. Why would you invest in the Dow, who has given you a 10-year return of 5.7, or the S&P 500, who's given you a 10-year return of 16.58, when you can get a 29.51 or a 29.15, and I think we'll blow that out of the water because of what AI, and then where is the other 10% of my portfolio going to go? Healthcare. Yes, healthcare, because that is going to be the multi, the, the huge beneficiary of artificial intelligence. Think about it. Think about it. I can go to my BMW dealer and they can plug in to my car and, uh, and they can tell me what's happened on every other BMW of my model and my series in the world. I mean, they have all that data. But I can go to a doctor and he don't know nothing about my mother. He doesn't know nothing about my brothers. He doesn't know anything about my family because he hasn't looked at my DNA. He hasn't searched. And then he hasn't compared my health to every other 78-year-old in the world, male, and, and then come to a conclusion. He is then, my current doctor, 
builds his diagnosis of what he has in his head. That's not enough. It's not enough. We have this data. We have it available to us. I should be able to know if I've got a pain in my stomach, how many other people, 79 years old, male in the world, have a pain in their stomach today that matches mine and what the rest of the world's doing about it. I should be able to know as much about my body as I do my BMW. It's ridiculous. But I know that's where it's going. So that's where the other 10% of my portfolio will go. But right now, it's Monday. It's a holiday. Tuesday morning, I'm liquidating a bunch of stuff and going towards these 13 stocks. I'll share all that with you after June the 1st. Okay. Uh, I would say if you want to be a part of this, go to the description. Find your way to the Discord That's going to be your ticket in. Talk to you again tomorrow.